Hey everyone, Kaylee here. So if you've watched my videos, you know that I love my hair curled, but I also don't really like spending 30 minutes curling my hair. So I thought I would show you guys the three different ways that I use to curl my hair in five minutes. Our first method, we're gonna start off by protecting our hair from the heat. You can use your favorite heat protectant for this and then brush it through your hair. Now for this method, we're going to be curling large sections of hair on a smaller iron. So what you're gonna do is split your hair in half from the ears up and go ahead and clip the top half out of the way. Then I'm splitting my hair in half and I'm going to curl each half on a three quarter inch iron. This kind of evens itself out. You're using a smaller iron, but you're using a bigger section of hair. So we'll end up being kind of a normal sized curl. So the most effective way to do this is to wrap the hair around and wait until you feel that all the hair has warmed up, then release it into your hand and hold it in your hand for about 10 seconds and then let it down. Then we're gonna let the rest of the hair down and I'm splitting each half into three. And that works for my hair type. If you have a lot more hair than I do, you might wanna split each half into four just depending on what you need. But then I'm just wrapping all of these sections away from my face, letting them warm up and then holding them in my hand and letting them down. And that's what I'm gonna do for all of this. So in all my entire head of hair is just eight curls and you'll see that it ends up working out really well. You could also use a one inch iron for this and this would give you kind of more of a fake blowout look or you could use a tapered wand for a more beachy look just depending on what you have and the result that you're going for. So now I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. Again, if you have more hair than I do, it's okay for you to need 10 to 12 curls. It's still gonna be a lot faster than any other method. So then I'm gonna run my fingers through this to break up the ringlets just a little bit. And I'm gonna hit my hair with a little bit of smoothing spray. This is just an anti-frizz spray and it really helps to cut down any frizziness that you might get from combing through your curls. So that's it for the ringlet version of this hairstyle, which is super pretty and I love, but if you like a messier look, you can always throw your hair over your head and use a little bit of a scrunch spray or a texturizing spray and scrunch your hair with it and then flip it back over and you're gonna have a little bit more of kind of a tousled, loose, lived in look. Depending on what you like, you can do whichever way you want, but it's still super, super quick and super easy. And now on to the next curling method. This one actually starts the night before. You're going to spritz your hair with a little bit of water or allow it to air dry until it's just a little bit damp. And then you're going to French braid your hair, starting up at the top of your head and then going down until you get all the hair into it and then just do a normal braid. Now this is technically cheating because it is overnight, but I braid my hair every night when I sleep anyway, so I don't feel like this is too much extra work. It will still only take you about five minutes in the morning anyway. So after you've slept on this, you can go ahead and take it out and you'll see that some nice waves have formed overnight. Then you're just gonna go ahead and part your hair where you normally would, and then we're gonna add in just a couple of curls because these waves look really nice, but I think if you touch them up with a couple curls, it can look even nicer. To touch up the curls, I'm going to use the pearl attachment from my Numi Lustrum Iron because it gives a nice natural curl. And I'm just curling basically along the top of my hair. I'm doing about four or five curls just on the hair that's next to my part line. And you'll see once we get all this done that it actually ends up blending really nicely. And that's all you need to do, just those three or four curls on either side of the part and this hairstyle will be complete. Now, if you prefer a little bit of a softer look, this technique will also work with a one inch or tapered iron to make kind of softer, looser waves. Now, I also curled the ends of my hair. I just did two little curls on the ends to cut down some of the frizz that happened from the braid. Then that's basically it for the curls. To make them really look nice, I went ahead and ran my fingers through it and added in some more of that shine spray just to make sure that we cut down that frizz. And then I added in a scrunch spray because I really wanted to emphasize the texture of these curls. It looks great, almost like natural curls, which I love. And I think the scrunch spray really enhances that. So I went ahead and threw that in there. And once that was done, the hairstyle was complete. This is definitely a nice way to get some beachy curls, but I think it's also a good option for those of you with naturally curly hair because it should tame your natural curl and just let you enhance it a little bit. And now we're on to the final method. And this one might be my favorite. We're gonna start out, of course, with some heat protectant spray because that is absolutely absolutely necessary. And then I'm going to make a hair bungee with my hair scrunchie. So I'm basically just gonna put a bobby pin in through either side and you'll see why I did this a little bit later. So start out by doing that and then you're gonna brush your hair into a really, really high ponytail. Then you're gonna stick one of the bobby pins in and wrap the elastic around until your ponytail is held in place and then stick in the other bobby pin. Now I'm switching out my pearl attachment for a one inch attachment. And I like this because it gives you a nice, soft, sultry wave, but you can always go with a smaller attachment if you prefer a tighter wave. Then you're just gonna take sections of your hair and curl it around the iron. I didn't use a whole lot of rhyme or reason for this. I took different size sections and I curled them in different directions almost every time, but I really liked how that ended up. 
Once I curled them, I moved them to the other side of my head and that was actually a really good idea because it helped me keep from getting the straight hair mixed in with the curly hair. Have you ever done that? Because that's such a pain when that happens. So basically, um, yeah, you just curl the hair from the ponytail and it is that easy. I think I ended up doing about eight to 10 curls and of course I did them in every different way, but you could choose to do them all away from your face or all toward your face if you want a more uniform look. Now it's time to take out the hair bungee, and this is why we made a hair bungee instead of a scrunchie, because we didn't want to mess up the curls when we took it out. Then you're gonna part your hair again, and your curls look amazing already, but I decided to go ahead and just touch up the curls around my face, because I really like those curls next to my face. So I did those two curls, then I ran my fingers through everything, and ran a little bit of shine spray on my hands, and then through my ends, which is a good way to do it if you have fine hair. And after that, my hairstyle was complete. Again, love this one. I think it's so, so pretty. So that's it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I really hope you try out one of these three curling methods. If you do, send a picture to me on social media using the hashtag KayleeMelissa, and maybe you'll be my subscriber spotlight in my next video. I will see you guys then. I love you very much. Mwah. Bye.